Welcome back to Timbers in 30. We had a Kiwi on at the top of the show, Cameron Knowles. Now an Aussie, we have Caitlin Ford of the Portland Thorns uh, coming on. Caitlin, this has been, uh, I imagine, kind of a tough season for you because you missed the first 18 games of the year with a foot injury you suffered back in Australia. You've been back now for five games. What's the process been like for you dealing with that and, and now coming back into the team? Yeah, obviously and getting any injury is um, not easy, um, let alone one right before... Obviously, I'd just signed with the Thorns and I was super excited to get over here and um, start playing. So I always feel like once something good's coming, you know, you always get hit with something. And unfortunately, that was my injury. But um, it's definitely been worth the wait. And now I'm just obviously so excited to be back out playing. Obviously, difficult for you. You're coming in and you're not able to contribute to the team and for your teammates to get to know you a little bit better. For you, um, having to, to step to the side, what has that been like on, on the sidelines and looking in, trying to integrate yourself with the team? Yeah, I mean, for me, I was just trying to do as much as I could away from the game. I was obviously watching all the games and seeing the girls play and, you know, kind of just watching and kind of seeing what I can do um, for the team away from the game. Um, at the same time, it's hard when you're not playing. You kind of have these thoughts can I even play anymore but um, yeah I mean it was just kind of you know see the girls how they're playing and um, be as ready as I can when I get here because I knew I wouldn't have that many games left. You're a very effective player with Richard Farley you did a great article and a piece just about how you've evolved from when you're 18 year old coming across here your, your nutrition your lifting after games watching games as well and then your position what's that been like for you evolving as a player and the reflection that you've obviously gone through to get to the point you are now? Yeah, it's kind of been all over the place um, in positions. Um, I started off as a forward as my um, younger sort of youth days and then got transitioned into an outside back and, you know, now I've kind of worked my way back up. But for me, um, I just want to be on the field playing. So, you know, wherever that role in me is needed, um, I just kind of try and take it on board and do the best job I can. Um, but yeah, with lifting and I, I've found how important that is, um, you know, with these injuries, you know, you need to be strong when you come back. Um, in the past, I've kind of been injured, then come back and then I'd get injured again. Yeah. And, you know, I've found out how important that is. So just kind of want to do all the right things so I don't have to sit on the sideline again. <laughs> You've been prominently uh, kind of on the international stage for quite some time. You were named the young player of the tournament when you were 16 years old at the 2011 Women's World Cup and that's seven years ago now. Um, so you've been a professional kind of spotlight for a long time. Now in a new city in a new place in, in Portland. What's your perspective on women's soccer here in Portland? What, what have you uh, thought of it as you've been here for a few months? Yeah, I mean, I've only been here this short amount of time, but I can't even compare to, you know, anywhere else I've played. Um, I've never played uh, in front of, you know, something like this or played for a club um, this professional and the way they, you know, treat us. And I obviously can see now why the Thorns have been so good since the start of the NWSL. Um, the club puts in a lot and, you know, you get treated like professionals and you know although you don't have to worry about anything really you just come and play football and um, obviously having the fans there as well um, that's a massive boost um, if you don't have one anyways to play you know they really drive you um, to want to be better and you know um, win and just play well in front of this club and I've been on the other end of it and this game was always the one I was excited to come play in so to now finally be on the other side it's pretty cool. You guys are in, in crunch time there's one game to go in, in the regular season and you've known kind of what you've had to do had a, had a difficult stretch last week where you had a tight window and you guys got it done specifically in Washington long road trip for you guys coming off a win uh, at home and you get a one nothing win against the Spirit at Audi Fields in DC United's new home um, how important was it for, for the team to, to get that win, setting up what's, you know, kind of a winner-take-all match against Seattle? Yeah, it almost felt like, you know, we were already kind of in playoff mode, you know, with that Washington game. We knew we had to get a result out of that to then make this Seattle game an even bigger game than what it already is. So, um, you know, and going into this one, it's kind of like a playoff as well. We want that home game here um, for the playoffs. So... Yeah, it's, if it wasn't a big game already, now it's huge. So 
uh, we're just very excited. You referenced it. Let's put up the NWSL standings to, to show you how big of a match this is. The winner of this match will host the NWSL semifinal. If the Thorns win, then you guys are hosting Seattle the, the next week. If Seattle wins, uh, likely hosting the Thorns, or it's possible the Thorns could, could drop to four. But, I mean, what a massive match set up at, at Providence Park. Uh, not this weekend, but, but the next weekend on Friday night. It's got to be exciting to, to play in a match like that, right? Yeah, I mean... I, I was here when we played Seattle last up there. I didn't get to play in the game, but I was just there watching. And, um, you know, the vibe before that game is different to any other. Um, and to actually be able to play in this one coming up, I'm super excited. And, um, yeah, we want to have, as I said, we want to have that game here um, for the playoffs. So we'll be doing anything we can to get that win. Caitlin, we so appreciate you coming on. Welcome to Portland. Thanks for coming on the show. Good luck uh, against Seattle and, and into the playoffs. Thank you. Thanks it'll for having be, me. It'll be Caitlin Ford and the Portland Thorns against the Seattle Reign. It's next Friday at September 7th, 7 p.m. start at Providence Park. As we said, if the Thorns win, they'll host Seattle in the NWSL semifinal the following week. If Seattle wins, they'll host either the Thorns or Chicago in that semi. You can get tickets to Friday night's match at thornsfc.com.